drop Chicago first. And the Bible says that in the end, a troop shall overcome Gad, but he shall overcome in the end. That's Genesis, the 49th chapter, Keisha. Uh, if you use YouTube, I'm going to show you where I post. I got to turn around my data for you. And I'm going to show you where I posted. Oh, there I am. Chicago will be the first of all. Right after, you know, Michelle, they hit me with that car. That's when I started. I could see. Yeah, I, I, I could see since I was eight, though. That's the reason I left and went to the military. I was running. Didn't oh, want to see okay. it. But okay. see, it came back full force in 2008. Right after I got that car. That car, yeah. Just came, came realization really strong. Man. Yeah, he was like, oh, no, you can't run no more. Because we know what happened with Jonah and the well, right? He got punished. And there are women in the Bible like me that can see future events. Deborah Anna Mary Magdalene, uh, the first um, woman that Christ spoke to when he rose was a woman. So, Keisha, yeah. yeah. So, you have to, you, have to, you may not want to do it, Keisha, but time and chance happen to them all, and there's nothing new under the sun. You have to repent. You can't celebrate Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving because uh, somebody's child got to die for that day. Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, tells you they were putting up a Christmas tree before Christ was even born. Luke, the second chapter, tells you he was born during the harvest. So, oh, if you suck on it, this is a way to get away from this stuff. I deal with these people here. I, I've gained them that many followers, but they got a problem because uh, the most high chose a woman these days. Do you see what they're bombing Yemen? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's because we're going to enter right there at the Egyptian Sea this time. That's oh, Isaiah okay. the 11th chapter, not the Red Sea. And this is the real reason why they're bombing Yemen. He showed me coming out in white and a group of people behind me. He sent me here to finish it. This is one of the last places that they slaughtered my tribe. So when you get home, Keisha, do your research. Uh -huh. Find out where you're from. The work niggas in the Bible. You know that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And slave ships and all that. And look, the Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And free yourself from all this stuff. I mean, yeah. we're going to suffer all the way to the end. But I've seen the one they call Jesus Christ. You wonder why they call LeBron James King James? Oh, uh, why? Because that's exactly what he looks like with a white throat. He was standing, he, I, the way you standing up here talking to me, I talk to him just like that. Oh, uh, really? Really. Okay. And I've heard the voice of the one they call God. And he said he's getting ready to kill a lot of people. When the flood came, he only saved Noah and his family. Only eight people got on the boat. So what is telling you getting ready to happen now? He said this place will be a place for the night. You're looking about three months. I don't know what month or whatever. We're on the wrong calendar.